This video is going to show you how to put together the MSATA case from Andy Sini. So it fits an MSATA SSD. And what I'm going to be using for it is my Kingston 1 terabyte. So I went out and purchased the Kingston 1 terabyte SSD. It's an MSATA SSD. Another way of uh, reusing your Samsung T5 would be to take out the M side of SSD that's in it, and that would also fit in this case. We're going to see what we get in the box real quick and then get right into putting it together. So in the box, we get an Andy Cine branded uh, microfiber cloth and we get a bag with the contents of the inside of case. So this is the top of the case. This is the circuit board. These are heat strips. M3 screws. This is the bottom of the case. And you get a pamphlet that says, thank you from Jennifer at Andy Cine. So that's what comes in the box and uh, let's get it put together. So this acts as a heat pipe for the SSD to dissipate heat. We'll need at least one. Well, not at least. We need one uh, heat, heat conducting uh, strip. Circuit board out, and before you touch any of the circuit, before you touch the circuit board or your M side of drive, make sure that you are properly grounded. Uh, static electricity can actually run a component on the board. So make sure you've probably grounded yourself, such as uh, you know using a, a grounding wrist strap. So here we have two screws. The screws will fit here and here, and they will also go through the holes here and here on the inside of drive so. and you see also includes uh, five of the m3 screws which go through the top of the case this this part uh, and into the case itself so you get five of those that's one extra. Uh, it would be nice to see a, a few extra of these just because they're so small, just in case you actually uh, drop one, you would have an extra one. Four of these uh, 
and we need the Allen wrench. So it does come with an Allen wrench. This is an M3 Allen wrench. And we keep the extra screw and put it aside. And we need the two small screws out of this bag. So we'll get those out. And those are Phillips head screws. Hopefully you can see it on camera. They're so small. But yeah, and three screw or Phillips head screws. So you will need a small Phillips head screwdriver. That's just one I had lying around. All right. All right, so we're going to get the inside of Kingston plugged into this. So it's notched. You see the notch right there? That's going to line up with the notch that's inside there. Put it in at an angle like that. Make sure it's seated all the way. Then you'll hold it down. And this is where you put in your screws, the small screws. Again, Phillips head. The screws are so small it's kind of hard to hold on to them. That's another reason it would be good to, to see a few extra of those from Indy City put into the packaging. Alright, so you don't want to strip it. It needs to be snug. Not enough to actually strip that small screw head. Alright. Now that we have that there, we need to put the heat strip material, or heat conducting material, uh, on top of the SSD. I'm just going to kind of measure it out, cut it. Double check. Should be good enough. And it's has a double sided plastic covering. So we just take that off one side, get it lined up. And then we can take that off the top. Get 
Ja. So now this is going to go upside down into this. And this is this is the SATA connector uh, here, power connector there. So we want to align this with the slot that's open on the case, which is here. So we want to line up with that slot. We do that. We seat it. Make sure it's down. You can look at it, you know, that way to make sure it's all the way down. Then we're ready for the uh, top of the case. So, top of the case. Make sure you orient it right or else it'll be upside down. So uh, it's going to fit, if you're looking at the back of the Atomos Ninja 5, it's going to fit in this way. So you want your case top to be like this. Again, connectors from the perspective of the back of the Atomos Ninja 5, it's going to fit in the slot this way. So. Just so you can get the uh, wording oriented right, right, instead of having it upside down. <laughs> so, Once we have that done, take in three screws, get those started, and we just tighten them down. And there we have it. The Andy Cine Lunchbox M SATA SSD enclosure. And now that we're done, it's ready to go. Simply plug it into your Atomos Ninja 5 and start recording. So be sure to keep you know, your extra in case you ever need it. You know, it also comes with two additional uh, squares of heat strip heat conducting materials so uh, keep those if you ever need to switch your SSD out for a different one we'll have it available to you and don't forget your extra screw no uh, an extra N3 screw so keep that put it in storage so you'll have it uh, if you ever need to upgrade your SSD uh, again uh, this fits an M SATA SSD. Uh, you can either buy one like the one I bought from Kingston, or you can reuse your Samsung T5 series uh, external SSD. If if you have that and no longer need it in the form factor as an external SSD, you can put it inside this. Andy Cine has a USB-C to SATA adapter and I'll be going over that too it connects to this on one end and on the other end is a USB-C port uh, so that can turn this also into a external US, uh, USB SSD so uh, if you do reuse your Samsung T5 uh, and you get the adapter you still have the ability to use it as an external SSD it's just going to be in this case.
And in addition to this case, also working with the uh, Atomex Ninja 5. So there we have it. You get all that plus an Andy Cine microfiber cleaning cloth. And your M3 Allen wrench. And that's that's it for this video. Uh, it's a video to show you how to actually get your S, your M side of SSD into the Andy Cine lunchbox SSD enclosure. Hopefully this video helped. And if it did, uh, maybe it'll help somebody else. So feel free to share it out. Thank you for checking out the video and we'll see you in the next one.